Hi, say happy holidays, everybody. Okay, now I've got too many eggs and cannot put my lid on. So we're gonna have to make some desserts because I need to get rid of some of these. Happy holidays, everybody. I thought it would be a cool video if I made some quick and easy holiday desserts. Uh, maybe ones that you don't typically see around that often and that you can make with pretty much like the staples that you keep in your pantry. So the first thing that I'm gonna make is bread pudding from my leftover challah. It makes the best dessert ever. Let's go. I'm gonna show you the ingredients that we need. Very, very simple. Here's some leftover challah. The outside is a little bit tough, but the inside is still really good, so I think it's going to be perfect for bread pudding. You're going to need some evaporated milk, and then one can of sweetened condensed milk. You're also going to need two eggs. Any kind of vanilla, uh, raisins or I put I put um, ground cinnamon in my bread pudding any of those things you can add to it this this is pretty much just a base recipe so you can add whatever you want Alright, we are going to take the leftovers here to these freeloaders. Alright, freeloaders. Hey, look what I got. These are my pretty girls. Here we go. Holla. Okay, I've got my bread cubed up. And I have it in casserole dish, baking dish. Um, I have ones for dairy and then I have ones for meat. So the ones that I use for dairy are blue and the ones that I use for meat are red. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open these up and pour them both into my bowl mix in my eggs and then I'm gonna pour the mixture over the bread pieces.
now I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator to sit for a while, probably about 20 minutes, half an hour, so that it can soak up all that goodness. So as per my usual, I say, you know, maybe half an hour tops in the refrigerator. And then I get involved doing stuff, so it was in the refrigerator for more like an hour and 30 minutes. But it's perfectly soaked in and is ready to bake. So I've got the oven preheating at 400 degrees. Looks delicious. We are not going to be making lollipops today. However, I'm going to show you what you can do with those simple ingredients, the corn syrup, water, and sugar, and what you have in your fruit bowl to make the most delicious holiday treats. Let's show you how it's done. So I have my pan. I've got two cups of sugar, three-fourths cup of water, and now I'm about to add my corn syrup. This is two-thirds cup of corn syrup. I am making myself a little workstation here. So I've got my little cupcake liners waiting because that's what I'm gonna put the finished candied fruit in. But first, before we dip anything, we have got to peel these. I've got our oranges ready to go. So now I'm gonna add some flavoring and this is always optional. I love adding a little bit of cinnamon oil. It ends up leaving just the nice sweetness of the cinnamon but it's not spicy and it tastes delicious paired um, with any kind of citrus. My candy is almost to a hard crack, so I'm gonna put the camera down, and when this is done, I'm just gonna have to move really fast and get the oranges dipped in, but I'll have it set up so you guys can see. It is the following day. I was making 
too many desserts and I didn't have a room with uh, dinner and desserts in the refrigerator so I decided I was just going to go ahead and make the third one today. And this is by far the easiest dessert to make and it's one of my favorites. So we're going to make a very quick refrigerated version of lemon meringue. I am using a ready graham crust for this recipe. However, you don't need this. What I like to do if I have some leftover tea biscuits or a certain type of cookie that I can crush up and, and put uh, at the bottom of a pan, I'll do that to uh, replace the crust and it's really delicious. It's also a really good way to use some of those leftovers. Alright, so this is what we need. You're going to need some Cool Whip. Uh, Terry got me an economy size, so for this recipe we really only need about half of that container. We need some lemon jello and a lemon, either a whole or half, we're going to be using the juice. Alright, let's get started. Music is playing from the church. Every year they play uh, a healthy amount of Christmas music every afternoon for about three or four hours. I always enjoy listening to it. What's up, Myrtle? <laughs> you listening to? Listen to the music? Aww. Hey, Erkel. Aww. Yeah, say happy holidays, everybody. Aww. Well, Hanukkah's over, but Terry insisted that we keep the decorations up. But I switched out the wreath, so I took down my Hanukkah wreath and put up the Christmas wreath. See ya, Myrtle. Alright, so all of our dumpster finds that I did not sell, we are all, uh, we're donating everything tomorrow. We're putting it all on the boat tonight, and we've got people coming to shop on the boat.
for free for Christmas. So I'm hoping to get rid of everything I've got here. All right, we definitely have a fair amount of stuff to give away. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Beep, beep, beep. Watch out, ducks. Duck. <laughs> Here comes Captain Terry Slay. Hi, Myrtle. You dirty duck. Ooh, it's windy. It's chilly, too. Good. It's gone. Fair play, didn't it? That was good, wasn't it? Mm. So we've we've been spending our time watching Christmas movies. Merry Christmas. I definitely have my favorites. So we've been uh, DVRing a few of those. <clears throat> Having a good time, just sitting by the the lights of the tree and the fireplace and I get a hot cup of tea at night. Very relaxing. Very cozy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well everybody, from our family to yours, we want to say happy holidays. Be safe everyone. Merry Christmas. Peace.